All right, another update. I'm having the worst luck with these cameras trying to record. I don't know why these things keep stopping the videos and making them into multiple parts. Try to make this quick so I won't cut it off. So, rod and custom front cross member is clamped in place. Front frame rails are clamped in place. Using these bolt holes to kind of line it up. Tech screwed to the firewall. All my angles are right. I had mentioned where I had contemplated doing, learning and practicing up on my TIG and TIG welding this, but I think I'm just going to say screw it and MIG it. No way I'm going to compete with this gorgeous stack of dimes. Rod and custom so far, I'm very satisfied. Their craftsmanship is amazing. Very well made stuff. Not so much for Mustangs to fear. Or their inner fender aprons and their jack pad. The jack pad is MIG welded. All, everything's ground down except for the tie downs back there and like the interior grooves in here. And they are not the best MIG welds. They're, I mean, it's rough, splattery. Just looks not so great. I mean, it's surface rusted like crazy. Normally, I, if they're not going to make them to order and they're storing them, you'd think they'd either coat them with something, oil or some kind of anti rust paint prime or whatever but regardless their packaging also was crappy they just had the paper stuff wrapped around i don't even think this was wrapped up but this is kind of the paper was in there and then this these were just kind of set against the side so that tie down over there ate into this lip which i already re flanged and fixed what i just kind of bent it back into place didn't re it yet but i'll clean it up a little bit more whenever it gets time to use it and then one of the corner pieces I want on this jacket too. But for what these things cost, you'd think they'd be made a little better. And if someone else made a one piece of apron, I would have bought it. Dynacorn makes one for the 68, but they make it already on a frame rail. And the pair with the frames and the inner aprons are $1,000, which is way more than I'm gonna pay. Not to mention I already had frame rails and aprons ordered or at least the back aprons already had them here so on the predicaments that i found this side torque box fits beautifully the frame rail is tech screwed in place perfect here tech screwed down here and underneath this side which i can show you on the other one since the torque box is not in the way on the other side the flange to firewall on the outer frame rail is like a half inch off at the top on here the angles are wrong they're like 41 or 42 degrees so i'll have to reflange it this torque box fit beautifully this top piece fits beautifully there will be no issue on this side it all fits up great this side however it's way off hopefully somebody can give me a measurement from their floor support to rocker lip because mine is Roughly 11 inches. <sighs> These are annoying. All right, stupid camera keeps stopping recording at like four and a half minutes. So this side is 11 and a quarter maybe. That's hard to tell on the camera. About 11 inches. This side up front. Well, it lips at 11, but the inner's kind of banged up a little bit less. And then this front is like 10 and a half at the top. So apparently my rocker's twisted some, I'm guessing. And about 10 and 7 eighths at the bottom on the outer lip, which this can, that rocker can adjust. So anyways, problem. This to that flange is 11 and a quarter. Down here. About the same, about 11 and a quarter. That sucker is not gonna fit in here. I mean, 10 and a half to 11 and a quarter is a little bit of a spread. So you see the line I drew here? That's the overlap. I fit it up to the firewall with the frame rail out 
and it sticks in. <laughs> I mean, that this little tip here is this right here. So it sticks in way too far. I mean, this thing ought to just barely overlap the flange. Because on the factory cars, I believe, all of the torque box was installed after the frame rail. It was put up over the top of it. This thing, there's no way in hell it's going to fit. I mean, just this, this flange alone right here to that, that lip to this lip here is like 11 and a quarter, roughly. And there's no way in hell it's fitting. Down here, this flange to down here is like this 10 and three quarters. That actually might fit. But it's gotta be able to reach this flange, sorry. That flange down there, about 11 and a quarter. So, I'm wondering if this is the wrong torque box. I don't know if it's maybe a convertible one, maybe for a different year. I don't know. But I tried finagling it in. There's no way in hell it's fitting. I mean, you can hammer if you want. It's it's gonna have to be cut and reflanged or modified some some fabrication required. Hopefully, somebody can give me their frame to rocker measurement. I'm hoping mine's not that far off. I'm thinking it should be about 11 inches. The other side was an 11 and a quarter spot on. You know, I can probably wedge out my rocker a little bit, but it's not gonna go that crazy far out, I'm, I'm sure. I don't foresee it needing to go out that far anyways. But that's where I'm at. I'll go ahead and conclude this up. The, I might go ahead and order another torque box. That one over there was a two-piece Dynacorn. This one was a one-piece I think I ordered from CJ maybe. I don't even know. It was ordered way long ago, and we ended up splitting the Splitting it into two halves, drilling out the spot welds. But next in line, I'll be figuring that out, and then I'll probably go ahead and weld this. I'm contemplating welding the sides top and then the side over here with it just kind of tech screwed the car, and then pulling it out of the car and like standing it up to weld the underside so I don't have to weld upside down because I hate doing that since it's a good bit of welding or a long bead it'll have to be. But this will be getting welded in soon. And then after that it'll be frame rails, firewall, cow, torque boxes, all that. We're pretty much at the point of where I'm ready to start welding everything. Still have to figure out that fitment too. So thanks for watching guys. If you have measurements, help me out. If not, I will. Uh, eventually I'll find it. Uh, I'll figure it out soon though. Thanks for watching guys. Till next time.